all right let's move to our main activity which is the re the major activity it extends the activity um, class a lot of import um, the menu item the menu view adapter view the list view the fragment and the fragment manager are all imported with the strings the string um, array menu title with the string array for the page URL okay the navigation draw title the M draw title given the the M title the M draw layout for the layout for the list and for the toggle no? create a field a private field for them the row item is in the list um, generic um, class can be passed into it and the custom adapter now we initialize the M title the menu titles by getting their string array and also the menu icons and the page URL likewise the draw layout and the draw list by getting their ID now a for statement which actually holds the title length and an incremental value passing the row item so this specify which row you know which side to should be at the first the second the third you know in an iterative way and also passing along with it its icons and also the page url not leaving that so each row is being passed with the title the icon and the link url that's what the for statement is doing over there so it will set the adapter and also add an on item click listener to the, my draw list this is um enabling the action bar app icon and behaving it as toggle button setting the uh, the home button as well to true picking the drawable the sliding menu web view as the title so on drawer closed set the title and invite calling the on prepare options menu to show action bar icons on drawer opened you are calling the prepare options menu to hide the action bar icons So you're saving your instance on first time display view for first nav item. So you update the display. Setting the there's a class called slide item listener. It implements the on item click listener. The next view. Setting an adapter. That's the the the, the click um, adapter now this um the click adapter okay the updates view method is called on the click of the items which sits in the update display which takes list view item position as a parameter to it inside this method we will get the page url of that particular list view item this particular method and do that to create a bundle object and put the url string the pull you create a body object you put the url string to it that form and create the object of the Define fragment and set the bundle object 
as argument to it. You know, the, the fra fragment and said to the the argue, you know, the the argument to the bundle. That does the major magic. The set the title. That's of the action bar was the title of the um, application. The inflate the menu to call the main and also to invalidate the options menu when triggered. So when using the action bar draft toggle, you must still you must call it during the on post create and on configuration changed, which was being done. And with that, you have true with the logic of your sliding menu web view. You can go through it. You can get this code from my GitHub account. Get the source code. Lay your hands on it. It's wild useful. Let's launch it and let's see the display in my Jenny motion emulator. I click on my run button. Expecting the compilation of my application. I'll wait for that. Let me bring alive my journey motion. Okay, that's been built successfully. Journey motion is running live. Click OK. This is a full screen of my journey motion. Facebook is the first page to load. So it's actually calling Facebook. Can you see it? So let me click on my drawer. For other icons with a title. Because you have you must have paid a lot of title and title and title. Now I click on Twitter passing the URL bringing out the loading effect once it's finished close the web view can you see Twitter telling to sign up or login let me click on my drawable to go to check LinkedIn you can use this for your project can use it for some other important things as a LinkedIn page and so on. Thanks very, very much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.